Granitas. Yours? Okay. From India? Yeah, I love India. It's one of my best countries. The Bird. Uh, Bird the camera, okay. Well, digital. Okay. But she's basically shooting stories in, she's from near Mumbai. Shooting the stories in her own community. You're from. How old are you? Huh? Okay, tell you mm -hmm. I stuck. Borrowed a digital camera to take the photo. She didn't even have her own sort of like, you know, quality camera. So she borrowed a friend's camera and he so, you know, it made me even more excited immediately because here's a girl shooting world class black and white photography. I'm not talking about epic stories that are going to change the world. Hopefully that will come later. But what she's done is she's turned her camera on the only thing she knows, which is her family, and she shot it amazingly. And then, you know, I mean, it's a bit of a dream come true story, I suppose. But then a few weeks later, the world's greatest living legend of a black and white photographer is critiquing her work and saying she's got a, a strong future ahead of her. I think, you know, it doesn't get much better than that in, in what I'm doing. And, and that's the whole point of TAPSA. And the whole point of scholarships like this is to find people who need support in, in being the best that they can. And every single one of these guys this year is exactly that. It's just so exciting. If she pursues a life in photography um, and, and can come up with this kind of stuff, she'll go a long way. And I would like that to happen to her. There's nothing nicer than meeting a nice human being for a change who happens to have some talent but they're not sure and, and it has to be brought out of them it can only be done by encouragement if i was her she lives near one of the greatest cities in india it's calcutta it's a city i have very close to my heart and i've been many times i can tell you now you see humanity struggling for life they're on a scale you wouldn't dream of of thinking about it you realize you're not a photographer you have to make a quick decision so quick moves and make some really good ex you know, pictures. And if the next lot of pictures are equally as good, then she's on her way. Well, the quality of this picture is the silence. It's the light, the shafts of light coming through, which adds to a kind of almost holy uh, visual kind of image here. There's something like holiness going on here, religious, you, um, almost biblical, the lighting here. And right away you feel you're there and it's it's a kind of peaceful, I, th I feel as if I can almost smell the incense in this room. You know, I'll be talking to her tomorrow with a little group, group of people and I will give her as much encouragement as I can muster and help her on her way. I hope so. I think she's worth it. But then I realized that uh, photography, you know, taking pictures, it gives me happiness, this kind of meditation. So then I told my father that I want a camera and he, he said that it's too expensive. But somehow he managed. Yeah, in 2015, uh, 26th January, as my birthday gift, he gave me a camera. And then from now, I just take pictures. I don't want to do anything else. Well, uh, the thing is that uh, I just uh, log in into Facebook and someone uh, shared the live streaming in Timothy Allen Photography Scholarship and I saw my name on it. I'm like, okay, now I'm just in my room, I'm all alone. and. Then I'm screaming and I, uh, when I owned the scholarship, I was really happy and I knew that I'm going to uh, Sarja. This is my first international trip. And I told my mom that uh, I won the scholarship and she was happy, very happy. And uh, 
and then I called my dad and told him also but he's kind of quiet and cut the phone then he called back and said I am really proud of you yeah yeah everyone knows Don McConnell who you know he's kind of this and uh, I followed him throughout in uh, you know Instagram and uh, I searched him through Google and uh, saw uh, Don McCullen pictures and he is really great and when I met him he's really kind person I never thought that you know he was that kind of person and he told me that uh, to marry with your photography just do it and never never stop taking pictures um, yeah I'm a small town girl and I have a big dreams in my eyes We are very happy that this is uh, uh, growing. We're very happy that we have uh, this year over 700 pictures in this exhibition uh, compared to 200 last year. We have uh, about 90 photographers from all around the world. Um, it, it just uh, tells us that a lot of people are willing to be in this uh, festival. Uh, we do have a competition as well and we received more uh, than 13,500 uh, uh, entries for, for the competition. So everything, uh, tells us that this is going the right way, hopefully uh, growing uh, in the next coming years and uh, having more people, more photographers, more international names come to this festival.